Today I'd like to do some analysis on D-Wave Quantum Inc., which is a quantum computer company with the ticker symbol QBTS. Now this company first came onto the stock market around uh, 2022, although I believe it was uh, founded around 2012. Uh, 2022 came onto the stock market via SPAC, at a valuation of, uh, or the stock price rather, of $10. Had a nice little run up over 13, and then collapsed, uh, did a bear flag consolidation, and then collapsed again. And it's just been in a steady down uh, cycle, with uh, last year having a little run up in the spring and summertime, uh, and then basically collapsing down. Although it was making. Uh, higher lows as you can see here so we bottomed out around 40 cents then we've bottomed around say 60 cents and then uh, kept moving up slightly with higher lows this caused the 200 moving day average to collapse but then uh, find support and we are just starting to curl up on the 200 day moving average uh, which is a good sign uh, so, um, so the question is, where are we heading? So in the last week or so, D-Wave has had a nice little run up and started building what I would call a flagpole. Potentially now we can get some consolidation, chopping here and here, uh, to build us a bull flag. And then we can do a measured move uh, and get a, a target. So, for the bull flag, we'd like to see, um, we would like to see it stay within the 618 uh, retrace zone. So, which it has been doing the last two days. So, we want to chop, be, you know, in this range right here. We keep that chop. That would give us a nice bull flag. We then can do a measured move, which is what we've done here and here. This will give us a trajectory of to where this thing can move to. Uh, of course, we don't know exactly where the bull flag will be uh, ended, so we'll guess it at that. Now, if we look at that, that's somewhere, roughly speaking, around, say, 312 range which puts us the double top zone, the same as up over here, which will make a lot of sense. So we've got a double top target for here, which is a roughly going to be a measured move for this bull flag pattern. So that's two points as to what would pull us up to this target zone. Now the question is what happens after that? Um, I'm kind of thinking we get we got this run up, consolidate, bull flag, double top. We also have earnings coming up here uh, in April around, I think it's on the 12th. So this could all play out by April 12th uh, around $3, a little over. Now, earnings will be, you know, what makes it or breaks it. So... If we get uh, up here and we everything lines up as it should, earnings come in and, you know, they're great. Well, I would say then you're heading up for somewhere along this line up here. You see we've hit it multiple times. That's a rough trajectory of where the next peak should be. Uh, you know, we're looking at something like $6 to $7. But... Earnings could come in uh, garbage, you know, maybe they're not signing on new people, and the thing falls apart again, in which case, you know, you're looking at bouncing maybe on this line here, but realistically you'd probably hit somewhere around, well, hopefully the dollar holds, I guess is all I could say. Anyway, that's just uh, some of my thoughts on quantum computer company D-Wave and some chart analysis. Uh, 
the chart analysis, I've just I've taken some courses through Gary Soloway, which uh, has some mixed reviews. Let's just say, uh, you know, chart analysis is basically like uh, reading the tea leaves. I think how it works, basically, in my opinion, is everybody's looking for the same patterns, and so uh, we're basically. Uh, we all work together to make make the pattern play out because we all play it the same way. I think that's kind of how it works, uh, and it's sort of human behavior. We think we see these lines of of uh, flagpoles and whatnot, and we have set targets, so we all buy for the same things. And it, you know, sometimes it works out. A lot of times it doesn't. So anyway, it's uh, it's fun to play with it and see what we can predict, and see if other people think the same way. So, uh, you want to leave a comment, see uh, see what you think, you know, what, what's your opinion on the stock, on the charts, I uh, would be interested to know. Have a good day.